Okay, this is the deck timber that Ron dug up when uh, during the dedication ceremony of the Noah's Ark National Park. He was using his radar for the journalists and dignitaries, and they found with the radar, Ron saw this, hmm. and he said, that looks like uh, a piece of timber, and he had never been allowed to dig anything up on Noah's Ark. Here's a close-up of it, but when he did, this piece had been broken off over here and had fossilized like this. It's, it's as if God had preserved this piece for that very moment for them to see. And what's interesting about it, the Bible says that uh, they used gopher wood. Yes. And we've discovered that this is laminated like... Um, plywood, yes. many thin layers, layers put together, which would make it super strong. So you can see here, right here, that part of this wood has been worn away, and you can see uh, evidence of layering in here. Yes. And when you look on the end here, down here, let me see if I can get the light down here. Mm. Excuse me, I'm just going to wet it a little bit because you can see the layers better. It's getting dried out. You can't see it, but there's a layer. There's a layer. Mm -hmm. Here's a layer. Mm. And this is a very thick layer right here. Mm. Yes. Yes, I can see it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Totally of one, one, two, three, four. Four layers. I think that's all we yeah. can see right now. Yes, four layers. But what else is interesting is it talks about it was covered in pitch. You know, he was told to cover it in pitch. And if you'll look right here, you can see that it looks like some sort of a glue substance of, or something um, was oozing out here. Like a lady um, ices a cake, puts frosting on a cake, and then mm -hmm. puts a layer on top and it squeezes out. Mm -hmm. And so it looks like it was pressed together with uh, maybe bitumen or something that was um, very, very strong to laminate the wood. Yeah. So this would have been the actual end of the timber because this glue was coming out. But the other end, can you... Oh, this is the glue. Uh-huh. That's a glue substance that looks oh. as if it's coming out, see? Oh, it kind of flow out. Mm-hmm. That's the pitch. Oh. Now, if you'll turn this around and put the other end down here, I'll let you do it. I know, this is so heavy. heavy, unbelievably heavy. It's very heavy. You know, how can wood just... How can wood be so heavy? Because it's fossilized. It's been oh. replaced oh. by minerals. Okay. All the wood is gone, and molecule by molecule, uh -huh. it was replaced with the the substance in the soil up above and fossilized it uh -huh. or petrified it. Uh -huh. But you can see here, this is not an end piece. This is a piece that was broken, mm. yes. and it fossilized that mm. way. Yes, yes. It's a very, very amazing specimen. But how, how it came to be found was amazing because it was in front of all the journalists and the governors and all of the, those people. So and they allowed Ruan to, they actually yes. had the soldier dig it up. Yes, they had and the then, soldier dig it up. And then as everybody left, the governor of the, uh, that was there, who was the head of the event, he told Ron, he says, you take this home and you have it tested. Because if I give it to my archaeologists here, it'll disappear and we'll never see it again. Mm. And Ron put it in the big case with his radar. Because that was very heavy and yeah. you could get it out with this in it. No problem. They wouldn't have had a problem anyhow with rocks. Right. Yeah. Right. So, you, so this was uh, sent to the lab? Yes. 
where we have we have taken slices of okay. it here. But before that, huh. Ron did take it to the lab, and I'm going to give you a book in a minute where I've published all of Ron's data uh, mm -hmm. up to the time of his death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they did test it mm -hmm. and found out that it is uh, it does contain organic carbon. If it didn't have organic carbon in it, then you couldn't prove that it had once been something living. Oh. It's got a lot of inorganic carbon, mm. but any organic carbon at all is evidence that this had once been uh, a substance that had was organic at one time. Mm -hmm. I understand. Oh. Yeah. Yes, it's amazing. It is so amazing that, oh, you know, the Bible, yeah. it's like, man, it's right in front of your eyes. It is. And God allowed, I mean, God preserved this to such a time like this. Exactly. The timing was perfect. The yeah. timing was perfect. And the time is so near. That's why he's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in his plan yeah. to reveal it. Yes. Did you look at this yet? Okay. Yeah, please, yeah. Okay, yes. Um, I was there when, when Ron found this. Hmm. He was not allowed to hmm. take anything from the actual ark itself. That was, mm -hmm. that was his, what he was told. So I think it was in 1990 or 91, maybe mm -hmm. it was 91, we were all, there were a lot of us there, mm -hmm. and we were walking up onto the ark. And there, right off of the ark, not on it, right off of it, Ron saw this. Hmm. And he picked it up, and hmm. he gave it to DeLavar Avchi, who was his taxi driver. Okay. And DeLavar just put it in his pocket, hmm. and then when they were standing on the ark, hmm. Ron took it out, said, hand me that. And they looked at it, and it's very clearly a rivet and a washer. Now we've had to. Oh, we've removed, this is the washer. Uh huh. That's the washer, and we did have it tested, and it is made out of some space age metals. It's got yeah, titanium, it oh. um, strontium, aluminum, things in there that we did not even know how to alloy until the 20th century. Yeah. So Noah was not. Uh, you know, a dumb old caveman. He was a, he, he had the wisdom of God with him. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Luke, we're told about this. <coughs> Ron made that. Uh, he had that made by the time I met him, that, that model. Hmm. And he determined the things in it from radar. Now what we do know is that not very much of this structure was really evident, but what he did when he would find something on the radar, he would assume symmetry. Mm -hmm. You know, if he found two or three of those here and here, maybe one down here, he would just assume. Mm -hmm. So, um, but he did, the most interesting thing to me is this area right through here. And he found out from his radar that between these rooms here, we, well, we we'll call them rooms, cubicles, and the outer portion of, the, uh, of where the ribs were was an intersection that he didn't know what it was. He thought maybe one, it was a flotation collar. If it was airtight, you know, and sealed, then the air would have, it, inside it would have made it more um, buoyant, you know, in the water. Hmm. That it would, it would have provided some sort of uh, buoyancy. The other thing he thought it could possibly be was for food. Mm. He could have put food down in there, but he did. He didn't know. Mm -hmm. He didn't know. Mm. And he found um, these little cubicles. You mm. know this configuration. Mm. The front of the boat clearly showed a door here, 
up front. That's okay. the only one door. Only one door that they the could find. Ark. Yes. And it clearly shows inside that door, it goes down and it also goes up. It's a ramp system. So they some would have gone down, some would have come up. Now this second deck right here, he was able to find, um, you know, evidence of large chambers here. And he found evidence of small cubicles here. Yes. And then this big open space, he mm. assumed was, remember how the Bible says there was one window? Yes. A cubit roundabout? Mm-hmm. And he didn't know exactly what that meant unless it possibly meant this was the one window, one cubit roundabout, and it would let, no, we're not sure about this. This is all speculation. Mm. But from what he found, you know, he thought maybe there was something like this here to let light in. But we don't know. Because this top deck was collapsed. Collapsed. It was collapsed, and what he did discover was that there was a thickness here, and then it suddenly became thinner here, mm. then it suddenly became thinner here. Mm. So he believed that the different decks, you know, this was the bottom, but then this deck was here, and then this deck began there. Mm. So, but... So you said this is like the window? Mm-hmm. And you said, okay, so this is one window. One window, yeah. Well, one big window. Uh, well, no, as oh. you can see, it's, it's many. Many windows. But we don't know. Okay. We don't know. We don't have evidence for this. Mm -hmm. The evidence that he chose for that was the fact that there was an opening here. Mm. And the Bible says, he says, a window, one cubit roundabout. Mm. If it was just one cubit, it, roundabout wouldn't mean, what did roundabout yeah. mean? Yeah. But roundabout implies that it extends some length. Mm -hmm. So that is speculation. Mm -hmm. We probably will never know about this mm -hmm. because, um, again, it's, it's collapsed. Yes. But yes. I guess I guess Randall showed you. Did you show? Okay, Randall, it's your turn because he's going to no, show you. I have you. a question. Oh, uh, so when the Bible said mm -hmm. uh, when he let the 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 the, the pe pigeon out. Yes. So he was set that letting the pigeon out. Yeah, he had, he had to open a window to let it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Open the window, yes. Mm -hmm. the dove. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't that mm -hmm. we don't know. Okay. But now, Randall is going to tell you about the resistivity scans and Andrew. Where did Andrew go? That they did um, in 2014, because this is exciting. Wow, this so does, this is new stuff. This is new stuff. Nobody's seen this. Yeah. It's not on the internet. Oh, you know, well, what's on the, you, you do it here. No well, yeah, but nobody. In Z. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and I will give you uh, the files, if you want them, for all of these posters. Oh, that will be excellent. Because what you can do, uh, they're made to be the size, you have uh, Costco out there? Yeah. Okay, they're made this to oh. fit this size at Costco. Yes, okay. So they're already ready. Wow. Now I'm going to turn it over to Randall, who did all this work. Here's Randall, right there. <laughs> I could not Very recognize him. <laughs> okay, good. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Basically, in 2014, John Larson, who's our expert on this resistivity, mm. uh, met us out here with Andrew mm. and we came out to this site and ran these scans, the blue lines going this direction the long ways and then three going the other side, mm. going the east and west. And so we had, I believe it was 13 scans run and mm. each line was about every three meters with okay. a spike in the ground. Okay. and. We would run each scan, would take an hour and a half, mm -hmm. and it would, it's, 
put him down thousands mm. of data points. And it's really kind of like it's CAT scan. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you do a CAT scan on uh -huh. the body, you know, it shoots through and it, it'll, it's something like that. And then he has a program that ties all these scans and these data points together. Okay, okay. So that we'll be able to get a 3D image yes. of this boat. Yes. Well, his computer's not big enough to handle it, oh. but he's doing it as he can. Oh. And so what we're finding then is that, the, like for this bottom part of the boat, we have a deck at three feet, a deck at 20 feet, and look here at the shape. See the back of the boat here? Look at the shape of the boat, 45 feet deep. Mm. See the shape? Mm. And then here in the front, you got the shape coming in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's the shape of the bow of the boat. Mm -hmm. Here's the rock it's impaled on, mm. this rock here. Mm -hmm. It's impaled on that rock, so it slid down the mountain during a volcanic mudslide, oh. and it broke away the very bottom piece the keelson, like a sailboat, it broke the keelson off and left it up here at the top. Oh. And then the rest of the boat, it, it tore the bottom out of the boat, 120 feet or so, out of the bottom of the boat that's missing. Yeah, okay. And so it's badly damaged in the middle of the boat, but the lower part we're finding is still intact. And you'll see it's got so those white areas, we believe those to be rooms. Mm. And we have, these are timbers. Mm -hmm. You know, here we have a showing a door mm. and the mm. ramp system. Mm. Here is where we hope to do some excavation. This section here, mm. we'll excavate here, and it'll have these timbers oh. showing the deck support timbers. And here they are showing up in the scan. Mm. The deck support timbers in the scan. Mm. 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 So we got cavities showing up here. We got these this black line here. It's the deck timber that's still intact. So mm. those, we'll dig down and find a whole layer of that. Mm. Whole layer of those timbers mm. for the floor mm. where they walked around. Mm. Wow. So this is something we hope to do uh, possibly this summer. Yes. Depending on Turkey's Erdogan's work uh, that he's voting on next Sunday. Mm -hmm. If they approve him, mm -hmm. then he's going to uh, discontinue the uh, hold that he's got on the country right now oh. and allow us to go ahead and work. So if everything goes well, we'll be able to get our permit back in force because mm -hmm. we had a permit to do this. Mm -hmm. And then we had a permit last last July to yes. excavate. And two weeks before we brought our crews in, they had the the, um, the, the attempted coup mm -hmm. of Turkey there. Mm -hmm. And so we put everything on hold. Uh -huh. So we hope to have permission to get back in there and do this job. Okay. Okay? Okay. Um, you guys got a lot to look at yet. Yeah. You wanted to see something about giants. Yes, giants. So we're going to start off really big. How's that sound? Here's the biggest thing I've got. Okay, this. Is a bone on the foot. Okay. It's the big toe. Yes. Bone, the very last big toe bone. Yes. On a foot. Oh. And it's been repaired according to the doctor that x rayed it. Okay. It's been x rayed and this person had broke their toe toe mm. bone mm. and then it healed up. This is from an eighteen foot person. Estimated. Big toe bone. There it is. That is this part. Yeah, your very end big toe bone. Whoa! <laughs> Where did you find that? Where'd that come from, Mary? Randall? I'm uh, Randall. Ron. I <laughs> almost always call you Ron Randall. Okay, he found that in, um, uh, wait a minute, let me think a minute. 
in southeastern Turkey, um, when he was looking around to try to find the plane where uh, Babel was, and he found that. Looking for Babel. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not terribly far from from Noah's Ark, you know, maybe four or five hours. Okay, okay. All right, so here's another bone. Oh. Right here. Yeah. Uh, Another large person. Ten oh. footer maybe or something. I think this probably, I saw this in the video. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That somebody was showing this. In mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to do this one right now? Okay. I'll do this one. You want to sit in this chair? No, I'm, I'm okay down here. Okay. Back in about 1989 or 90, I forget which year it was, we were out at, uh, we were in Turkey, and we were out at the village where we believed Noah's house to be. Mm -hmm. And years ago, they had dug up a grave that we believe was Noah's wife's grave. Oh. Now, the reason for that was, uh, and you can see this in the the book. Noah's Ark book. Mm -hmm. Ron had found, before he ever even saw Noah's Ark, he had found a um, what appeared to be a tombstone. It was actually shaped like a tombstone, and it's in the in the book over there. In fact, let me, it'll be easier. I'm sorry, let me get it. You can stay. Just stay right here. Yeah, okay. She's going to get there. the book and show it's you right the tombstone. Here. It'll be better for me telling the story. You can edit all this out. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Let me find it here. Let's see. I think we're close to it. Okay. Here it is. His first trip out there, Ron found these stones. Mm. This one was standing. And this one was laying next to it. And both of them had these crosses carved into them, which we believe were done by the Armenians that lived in the area, because they were known to do that to all the stones. But what you can't see on here, or on here, was the engraving. You can see a little of it here. It had across the top of it what looked like a rainbow. Oh. And see, this was the cross that yes. was carved on it later. And it had what looked like an ocean wave mm -hmm. with a little boat sitting on top of it. Mm -hmm. And it had eight people walking away from there. And uh, he didn't have any photographs of it. I took these from um, eight millimeter film, mm. you know, very old and oh. degraded. But... The faces on there, he said, looked a lot like this. Now, this is something else that that we found in a museum. Mm. But he said that it had one man, the tallest figure, mm. then a woman, mm. a little less tall, mm. then three men walking after that, and mm. they were a little shorter, and then after them, three women. Mm. And he believed that they clearly represented Noah, his wife, his three sons and three daughters-in-law, and that these were the the one um, that is laying down right here. He believed that was Mrs. Noah's grave because all of them had their heads up and were walking away, and her head was down, and the eye was like a slit with a little cross over it, like she was asleep. And then the one that was standing up had both the man and the woman's head down. So that made us believe that Mrs. Noah died before Noah did. Mm. And someone dug up that grave, and there was jewelry in there. Well, jewelry. A lot of jewelry. Uh -huh. And it was sold on the black market. And Ron was contacted by the Interpol to find out I guess they thought maybe he did it, but he told them he, he didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, we don't know anything else about it except 
that um, he was told that there was an 18-foot sarcophagus found and that it was in the museum in, um, in Ankara. And the only corroboration I can give to that is one time Ron and I went to that museum. It's called, we called it the Hittite Museum in Ankara. It's not a big museum, it's you know just average size. And we went in there one day and there was nobody there but one man who was working. And uh, Ron asked him, he said, I've heard that there's really long stone case been s s here. And the man says, yeah, it's in one of these back rooms. And he pointed to a room. He says, I think it's in there, but we're not allowed to go in there. Mm -hmm. And that's all that we've ever been able to find out about that. But we believe that was her sarcophagus. And anyhow, and that happened in about 84. Mm -hmm. And so then in um, about 89 or 90, we were out there just looking around where the hole for her grave was, where mm. they had dug it up, and we found some bones. And these bones here have been identified by uh, a radiologist and a couple of physicians. None of them want to put their name on their statement, but here is what they told us we have. That we have a human finger with a touch of with a touch of arthritis and this is the finger this is this part of the finger it's just three bones it's just three bones of the left this, finger this and left this. hand little finger yeah they actually identified it as left hand little finger i don't know how they could do that huh. but um Let's say it's this finger. It's twice yeah. as long as mine. Right. right. So. So, this was in the. It was just loose in the dirt. Where they had dug the. Mm -hmm, grave where they up. had dug the grave up. Paul. And the jewels were sold the on the market for somewhere around seventy to hundred million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, it's this. So that is so. That is also okay. I think that's the because the um, the flood mm -hmm. also drowned these giants, these Netherlands. Yes. Well, they were just people. Yeah. They were just people. They weren't any different from you or me. Noah was big. His wife was tall. But they look how long they lived. And God obviously changed something in our DNA after the flood. Uh, remember how he talked about um, at Babel? He said when he came and destroyed the tower. Yeah. He said nothing will be withheld from them if I don't intervene. Right. And so it's obvious mm -hmm. that mankind was was just so bad for him to wipe out the whole planet. Mm -hmm. He, uh, if you'll look mm -hmm. in the Bible at the ages yeah. of the patriarchs. Their ages were very long, long here, yeah. and then suddenly, immediately after, by the time they get down to Abraham, mm -hmm. the ages get much shorter. Yes, yes. So yes. It, it appears, like, let's take dinosaurs. Mm. Dinosaurs, if you look at a lot of the bones, they are the same animals that we have today, many of them. Mm. Only, if you have a reptile, mm. a reptile grows as long as he's alive. He doesn't have a cutoff in his DNA. Oh. He continues to grow in size a little bit every year. If you have an alligator that lived 500 years, mm. he'd be as long as this house. Mm. And you know, now mm -hmm. we have 15, 20 foot, um, I know somebody found a 30 foot alligator oh, yeah. skeleton. Oh. But not today, they're fossilized. Mm -hmm. Yes. So apparently man grew larger also okay but yeah but uh, mm -hmm. there's also another theory because mm -hmm. um the uh the nephilims the Nef the nephilims the it's in the book of I genesis thought, yeah, right, chapter yes. six and it and those were the giants they were just they were people though they yeah. weren't there's a lot of people who want to say that 
angels and men right. bred together. Uh -huh. That did not happen. I can guarantee you that. There's a scripture in the Bible that says that there is terrestrial flesh and yeah. there is celestial flesh. Right. And they don't combine. Mm. They don't combine. Mm. It talks about, um, you know, these tall, these big people. There were still a few left. There were still a few people like um, King of Bashan. Yeah, Bashan and, 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 and right. Ankh. There were still a few of them left. And they were just a few of the people, like pre-flood people. They were still large. Oh. But we just don't have any left now. Mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. uh, I, it's just another evidence that the Bible was true. Mm -hmm. That they were... They were big people. Mm -hmm. They really did exist. Mm. Mm.